Jan Ulrich ist noch nicht. Whatever he said I did. To the word. Ferrari was a proponent of less is more. Because we would ask, you know, we're like, oh, I heard somebody's doing this, and I heard somebody's doing that, and should we think about that? Is it Lance? All you need is disc brakes. Just for sure, disc brakes. So we have Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Warning, this video contains a lot of truth. If you're offended by truth, if you are triggered by the truth, please go and watch a Nike advert right now. If you're still here, let's get into it. Lance Armstrong destroyed cycling. Says a few beta, beta NPC boys out there. People who think Joe Rogan is the god. They think Lance Armstrong destroyed cycling. Here's the truth, man. Here is the absolute truth. Every single champion in cycling, running, swimming, tennis is fucking doped to the gills, man. Juiced to the fucking gills. They always have been. They always will be. It's not just cycling. It's professional motherfucking sport. It's money, man. If you take drugs, I'm not saying you should, but if you take drugs, you become a freak when otherwise you would not have become. You surpass your natural God-given ability and talent. Drugs, performance enhancing drugs, testosterone, painkillers, corticosteroids, anabolic steroids, EPO, oxygen vector doping programs, stimulants, brain drugs like Adderall, Ritalin, Methylphenidate, Modafinil, Caffeine, Pseudoephedrine. These things enhance human cognitive neurohormonal function. The neurohormonal benefits are unrivaled. This is what it takes to be a true champion in professional sport. This always has been or always will be. Professional sport, ladies and gentlemen. It's about motherfucking winning. Second place equals first loser. This is the mentality of professional sport. This is the mentality of the fans and the sponsors. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying this is how it fucking is. Get used to it. Get over it. Stop being a hypocrite and saying, Oh, Lance Armstrong used drugs. Oh, he's a bad boy. Right? But Lance Armstrong tried to destroy people who went after... People tried to make a career of destroying Lance Armstrong. Those journalists out there trying to get some clickbait titles. You know, I don't believe in Lance Armstrong. And then and so Lance went after them. If he didn't go after Lance, he didn't go after you. He was like the pit bull getting poked. All right, so you've got to have full context there, people. This is going to help you enjoy your life better because you won't get scammed anymore in society. People go, well, Lance Armstrong, he's on drugs. But these YouTubers like Athlean Lex, Greg Duchesne, etc., etc., these influencers out there are also using a shit ton of drugs. They're using way more, Athlean Lex is using way more drugs than Lance Armstrong ever did. That's just the truth right there. All these Instagram and TikTok and YouTube influencers the fitness, that's not fitness. Taking lots of steroids, looking good in the mirror isn't fitness. That's aesthetics. There's a big difference. The fitness industry now isn't even fitness. It's aesthetics. And that's okay, but let's call it for what it is. It's not Fitness isn't aesthetics. Fitness is fitness. Aesthetics is aesthetics. So you've got this, you know, this, the, 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 you've got teenagers, you've got 15-year-old kids on Instagram taking steroids to enhance their aesthetics, which enhances their social media income. It's a job, man. And they lie about it, say, oh, I'm natural, I'm natural. And you fools out there who think Lance Armstrong was the only bad apple out there, believe and buy and get scammed by buying these programs. You'll never, ever, ever look like these social media influencers out there. You'll never, you won't even look like you lift, bro. You you could spend $10,000 of coaching by Greg Doucet or Athlean X, etc., and you would look like you don't even lift, right? After two or four or five years of busting your hump, people are like, oh, do you lift, bro? Mate, I, don't, I can't really tell. You know, you will not have the vascularity and leanness of these people that they, they use in these performance enhancing drugs. All right? So this is how just Lance Armstrong didn't destroy cycling. Every single cycling publication that's around today benefited from Lance. I benefited from Lance. GCN, Cycling News, Cycling Tips, Bike Radar, 
you know, SBS, all these, I was watching a Tour de France the other day on SBS Australia, and the commentator said, oh, the American who, who, who was in the Tour de France, and I'm just like, you fucking idiot. Just say Lance fucking Armstrong. You wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for Lance. Lance brought cycling to the West in a, a way no one ever has before. People love the Lance Armstrong story. Nike, Trek, Shimano, Oakley made millions and millions of dollars and are still going very, very well today because of Lance Armstrong. Carbon fiber bike technology got the thumbs up because Lance was the first person to really put carbon frames on the map in a big way. Uh, so everything out there today in cycling is because of Lance Armstrong, pretty much. It's been, if it hasn't, because of Lance, it's been enhanced because of Lance. Same with the scrutiny. People say, oh, Tadej Pogacar, he, he's just too good. He's, he must be doping. No shit, motherfuckers, but so is everyone else at the top. It's, it's entertainment. It's not healthy for the body to race up and down mountains for three weeks in the hot, in the cold, with a couple of rest days. Not even rest days. You've got to train on the rest day. They have to train on the rest days to keep the weight right, to keep the body ticking over so it doesn't shut down with massive fatigue. There's no rest day in the Tour de France. You have to go out and do three or four hours, 100K, you know. This isn't healthy. This is professional sport. It's not healthy. This is not healthy. The hormones help you stay a bit healthier. Right? This is just how it is, people. It's not cheating. Everybody is on the same page. It's only cheating if you're the only one. Right? So stop saying there's, mo- there's motors in the, e- in the bikes. It's that sort of bullshit. Right? There's drugs in the blood of every Tour de France champion, every Olympic. Olympics. You think Michael Phelps is clean? You think Michael Jordan was clean? That's impossible. You think uh, the soccer stars, Christian Ronaldo, you think Christian Ronaldo is clean? They're not clean. Drugs enhance everything. If you've got technical skill, testosterone enhances that neurohormonal function. It enhances your agility. The stimulants, the prescription stimulants enhance everything. So please, let's stop saying Lance Armstrong destroyed cycling. Let's stop pretending Lance is the only one who's used drugs or is using drugs. It's professional sport. You're paid to win. You are paid to win. You take things so you do win, so you can get paid and laid. People drink coffee at their job. They've got a headache, take an aspirin. They keep going. Drugs enhance work productivity. All right? You're a hypocrite. If you drink coffee... And you think Lance is bad. If you drink coffee at work and you think Lance is bad, you're taking drugs to do your job better. And you're going to say Lance is better? You know what I mean? Lance is, Lance is a bad boy? Stop being a hypocrite. Everybody at the top, all sports, all sports, boxing, running, ballet, gymnastics, tennis, soccer, AFL football, rugby, right? everybody at the top is using performance enhancing drugs get used to it and get over it or stop watching professional sport if you're against it when you first sat down with brock did you ask him about steroids um no i listen in, in this day and age with everything that's going on in sports if you're taking steroids you're a moron if you're taking steroids you're a moron if you're taking steroids you're a moron <laughs> lesnar's physique also raised big questions about steroids. You're just so big and you come out of the world <laughs> of pro <it>. wrestling. <laughs> We're done. Thanks, guys. I feel like you have to defend your title before facing uh, Dos Anjos for the lightweight title. What do you feel? I don't care about weight. I They're don't care all about on The only steroids. weight I care about... They're all on steroids. The only weight I care Everybody. about... Steroids? What are you talking about steroids? Let me talk. Let me put my name in steroids. I'm major against that. Don't put my name in the name of steroids, Nate. The only way I give a fuck about is the weight of them checks. And my checks are always super heavy weight, so I don't give a shit. Nate, you made a pretty bold accusation a couple minutes ago. Nate, 
you made a pretty bold accusation a couple minutes ago. Um, do you want to elaborate a little bit more about that? What was it? What? The steroids comment? Everybody's on steroids. The whole UFC, everybody. Your teammate Gil and Jake were two caught on steroids. Not and me. And you and those other Not me. What are you talking about? Not me. I'm not on no steroids. What, you, what the fuck are you talking about? Your two teammates went on steroids. That's your two boys, the scrap pack. Remember that? Well, I'm damn, they were. Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you? You're on steroids. Sure I am. I'm just an animal. I'm just an animal. <laughs>